I'm going to add a slicer so we can look at these different regions in the pivot table separately. But of course, normally when I set it, put in a slicer, it's going to look completely different to the rest of the pivot table because it's going to default again. So just to demonstrate that, so we're going to insert a slicer for region, hit OK, and we've got it here. So I'm just going to insert a few rows at the top. So shift space to highlight whole row, control shift plus to insert rows. So I might go up and uh, by holding down alt and dragging this around, it'll snap to the grid. So I can get it sort of something like that. Might need another one. Want it two rows deep at least. So I'm gonna need a whole nother thing there. Now that looks a mess, but if we go to slicer, we can up the amount of columns. That's right. And then what I'm gonna do is pick already created a custom one but let's just pick this one for the moment which is quite close to my pivot table similar sort of color scheme I'm going to duplicate that and then start formatting it differently let's do that from white there and selected item I'm going to have as again much darker like that Fill there, yeah, great, okay. And if I go up to my new slicer there, you can see everything jumping about and it's working. So you probably notice as well, these columns jumping around now because each region has different size numbers. So this is where you might decide, actually, I'd be better off, take it off filter, sort of having these columns set as a standard width. So if I, once I've got it lined up with my slicer, I'm gonna go back to the options, I'm gonna untick this auto fit, and that way then, now, as I go through the various different, um, regions, I'm basically getting everything sort of staying in line. So I'm just gonna get rid of that formatting there by saying no fill on it. Final tip, just tightening up the spreadsheet basically, common stuff. So we're gonna insert a little column to the left here, insert a row above, and then we can switch off the grid lines, the headings, I and mean, we could even perhaps, depending on the rest of the spreadsheet, click off the formula bar. Let's leave it on for now. And I'd say we're basically there. Hope those tips were useful. If you want more, check out my playlist on pivot table tips. And of course, download that spreadsheet if you want all of the examples. And remember, subscribe to my channel. See you soon.